Hello there, welcome to today's session. My name is Paul Benyon and I am one of the sales engineers at Hard Dollar Corporation. For today's session we're going to talk about handling fuel costs. As we know fuel costs are constantly changing and of course affecting the rates of our equipment resources. Today we're going to take a look at how you can make a fuel cost change to the, the amount of fuel per gallon and have that change update automatically into all of your equipment rates for you to save you the hassle and the amount of time that's typically taken needing to update all of your equipment rates. So as you can see we are in the resource rate register and I'm looking at all of my construction equipment, the individual resources. Let's drill into one of these items, say this asphalt roller. And as I open this up, you can see that my own equipment, of course, breaks down into ownership costs and operation costs. And one of those categories is for fuel. And I have $19.20 in there. My fuel cost, in this case, is being defined by a consumption rate that I've defined, which then calculates with uh, a dollar amount per fuel, which we'll take a look at in a minute. So the first step is to come in here and actually define a fuel type, diesel, gas, whatever it might be, and the consumption rate. Once I have defined the consumption rate, which I can define on this record, or you can see that I have the ability to pull up that uh, fuel unit and the consumption rate right here on the register. Once I've defined that for each of my resources, I then can go into the job properties for the project and under the fuel cost tab I can define what the amount is, the rate per gallon or in the case of other countries if outside of the United States I can define it per liter or really whatever unit it might be and then that dollar amount is going to factor with all of the consumption rates that I've defined on my equipment which then results in that rate that we see here and once again if we jump one more time into that asphalt roller and take a look at the operational cost that nineteen dollars and twenty cents is the result of the consumption rate that I put on here and the fuel cost that was defined in my job properties Let's just do a quick example where we make a change. Let's change the consumption rate. We find it's actually six gallons per hour. You'll notice that as I make this change, my fuel cost then alters automatically on this rate from $14 to $14.40. The same would be the case if I make a change to the amount per gallon of fuel. Say it was actually $3 per gallon. As I make that change, if I jump back to my equipment record, this asphalt roller, the fuel cost updates now to $18 for the rate. And if I jump into my register looking at all of my pieces of equipment, we would find that all of these rates have now updated based on that change to my fuel cost. So that wraps up today's session where we take a look at how you can manage fuel cost very efficiently in hard dollar. Once you have all of your consumption rates set up in the system for your pieces of equipment, you can simply come in, make a single change here in your job properties and have it update all your rates uh, in the project. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.